it's me, Mrs. Lockman from Boston School Forest, and it was so much fun to learn about animal hearts on this week's mystery science video. And it got me thinking, what do hearts look like? Do all animal hearts look the same? We know they're not all the same size, but how fast do they beat? Are there some that beat faster and some that beat slower? So for this week's mystery science at Boston School Forest, we're gonna take out some of our education animals and we're gonna take a look at some diagrams about what their heart actually looks like. And we'll listen in to see how fast their heart really beats. We call that the heart rate. So let's get out our first animal. Up first are the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Now these Madagascar hissing cockroaches are in the insect animal group and their heart is pretty simple. It's actually just part of their veins and their arteries, part of their blood vessels that has a little muscle behind it and it squeezes so that it moves the fluid back and forth to move the nutrients and to move the oxygen throughout the body of the cockroach. Let's take a listen to the Madagascar hissing cockroach's heart. A Madagascar hissing cockroach's heart can beat 66 times in a minute. The next animal that we can talk about is a fish. And we have these little minnows at our house right now. And fish have a two-chambered heart, so more complex than what we saw with the cockroach. They have a part of their heart that takes the blood in from the rest of the body. And then they have a part of their heart that pumps the blood back out to the rest of the body. And we call those little rooms or parts of the heart chambers. I'm not really sure how we listen to a fish's heartbeat, but should we give it a try? Okay, so I just took him out of the water for just a quick minute. Let's get his heart rate. See, fish is a little bit interesting since they're considered cold-blooded. If it's real cold, their heart rate slows way down to like maybe 10, 15 beats per minute. And if the water's real warm, it moves up and it can even be as high as 80 beats per minute. The water here at our house is actually room temperature, and so his heart rate right now is about 40 to 50. Our next animal to look at is an amphibian. And amphibians have a heart, and it's a little more complex than the fish heart that we just took a look at. In fact, it has three chambers. It has a two atrium to receive the blood, and then it has one ventricle that is strong and it'll push out the blood all the way up to the head and all the way down through the tail. Should we see if we can listen and hear the salamander heart? Okay, here we go. A salamander's heart can beat 50 times per minute. If it's a hibernating salamander, it goes way down maybe one beat per minute. Next, we have Bubbles, our red-eared slider turtle. Turtles belong to the reptile group, and their hearts are even a little bit more complex than the amphibians. See, amphibians had a three-chambered heart, two atria, one ventricle, while theirs is considered a three and a half chambered heart because they have the atria on top and then the ventricles have like a half wall through them. And so it provides a little bit more power to these guys. Should we take a listen? On an average day, this red-eared slider turtle's heart rate can be about 25 beats per minute. Rosie. Rosie is our collar dove and Rosie's actually a boy but before we knew it was a boy we named him Rosie so now we changed his name to Roosevelt after the school and president. So Rosie is in the bird group and birds have a very complex heart. 
Their heart is very similar to yours and mine. Two atria, two ventricles, and it pumps the blood up to the head and down to the feet and out to the wings and moves around the nutrients and the oxygen very well. It's a very efficient heart. Let's take a listen. Oh my gosh, I do hear it, but it's like doves and pigeons can have a heartbeat as much as 600 beats per minute. It's so fast. It's very fast. Last but not least, we have our mammal group. And this is our Boston School Forest Chinchilla, Ashton. Hi, Ashton, how are you? I'm good, Mrs. Ackman. How are you? He really likes the camera. He's looking right at it. So a mammal heart like yours and mine has the two atria, the two ventricles, and is very efficient at moving blood throughout our whole body, up to our head and down to our toes and out to our fingers and back to our heart and lungs. A rule of thumb with the mammals is if it's a bigger mammal, the slower heart rate, and a little mammal has a fast heart rate. Another rule is if it's resting or kind of napping or sleeping, it can have a lower heart rate. And if it's real active, like running around, its heart will beat faster. So let's see what Ashton's heart rate is today. I totally hear it. It's so cool. Chinchillas can have a heart rate of between 100 and 200 beats per minute. 100 if it's slow and kind of resting. 200 if it's running and jumping around. But next time you go to the doctor for a checkup, the doctor will use a stethoscope to check your heart. They'll listen to the sounds that it makes and it'll check the heart rate or how fast your heart is beating. Most humans have a heart rate of somewhere between 60 and 100 beats per minute. And the same rules apply for us too. If we're running around, it'll be faster. If we're just waking up in the morning, it'll be slower. Well, that's all for this week's Mystery Science. We hope that you give your heart um, a whole bunch of healthy choices like eating good vegetables and fruits and grains and healthy meats and getting lots of exercise. Even though it's cold outside, you can still move your body and get your heart pumping. See you next time.